In the darkest corners of a shadowy bar, the unholy trinity convened, gathered to conspire. Their sinister conversation revolved around leading someone away from the path of God. They set their sights on two men, one who had recently embarked on a journey of redemption, earnestly seeking solace in faith and conversations with the divine. This soul, once lost but now found, was a prime target for their wicked designs. The other, a man with an ego always wanting to show off. With devious grins and whispered schemes, they hatched a plan. They would tempt a man named Richard with worldly riches, entice him with promises of power and luxury, and ensnare him in the trappings of materialism. Slowly but surely, they would lead him astray, turning his gaze away from the heavens and redirecting it toward the allure of earthly pleasures. Richard will be the first domino in the plan to lead Daniel astray. In the shadows of that sinister bar, the unholy trio set their plan in motion, their sinister intentions hidden beneath charming facades. The battle for a soul had begun, a malevolent dance of temptation and seduction that aimed to sever the newfound connection between the man, Daniel, and God. In the world of corporate ambition, Richard was a man driven by insatiable greed. His life revolved around accumulating wealth, and he spared no effort in his relentless pursuit of money. One fateful day, while engrossed in a high-stakes deal at work, Richard made a critical mistake that could jeopardize his lucrative position. Panic gripped him, for he knew that his obsession with wealth was on the line. In his moment of desperation, a sinister presence materialized before him, shrouded in darkness. It whispered promises of unimaginable riches, a chance to possess all the wealth in the world. The catch was simple. All he had to do was shift the blame for his mistake onto Daniel, a seemingly innocent co-worker. The temptation of boundless riches overwhelmed Richard's moral compass, which he barely had. He agreed to the nefarious pact, agreeing to pin the blame on Daniel and safeguard his precious source of income. As time passed, Richard's wealth continued to grow, his bank accounts bulging with riches. Meanwhile, Daniel, the unwitting scapegoat, faced unjust consequences for a mistake he had never committed. In a bustling city, amidst the towering skyscrapers and the ceaseless hum of corporate life, Daniel worked hard in his career. He was an artist at heart, but his days were spent toiling away in the sterile environment of a soulless corporation. Day in and day out, he poured his creativity into spreadsheets and presentations, the spark of his true passion dimming with each passing moment. But it was a co-worker, a man named Richard, who plunged the final dagger into Daniel's dreams. Richard was cunning and ruthless, willing to do whatever it took to climb the corporate ladder. One fateful day, he framed Daniel for a mistake that was not his own, leaving Daniel to shoulder the blame and the consequences. As a result, Daniel was fired from his job, his reputation tarnished and his spirit crushed. Engulfed in anger and despair, Daniel vowed revenge against the man who had ruined his life. He spent sleepless nights plotting his retaliation, obsessively researching Richard's weaknesses and vulnerabilities. The darkness inside him grew with each passing day, consuming his very soul. Then, on a sinister night shrouded in shadows and whispered vengeance, Daniel's plan came to fruition. He had discovered Richard's one true weakness, his insatiable greed. Daniel set a trap, baited with promises of riches beyond imagination. Richard, blinded by his avarice, fell right into it, in the dimly lit alley with the echoes of the city's secrets as their only witnesses, Daniel confronted his betrayer. The tension in the air was palpable 
as Richard realized he had walked into a web of deceit. But it was too late. Daniel, eyes filled with the fire of retribution, revealed his true intentions. The revenge that followed was as wicked and poetic as a stroke of dark genius. Daniel exacted his revenge, leaving Richard to face the consequences of his own actions. As the city's secrets whispered their tales, Daniel walked away, his heart heavy but vindicated. Haunted by the heinous act he had committed just the day before, Daniel sought refuge under the cold, unforgiving rain. The weight of his sins pressed heavily upon him, and he needed solace amidst his inner turmoil. With trembling hands, he lit a cigarette, its ember a fragile symbol of his torment. As the raindrops cascaded around him, an unexpected sound reached his ears, a gentle yet resonant voice filled with compassion and hope. It was the voice of a pastor, delivering a sermon from within the building he had unknowingly sought shelter beside, an unassuming church. Intrigued and drawn by an inexplicable force, Daniel extinguished his cigarette and approached the church's entrance. There, he stood in the shadows, captivated by the pastor's words. The sermon wove a narrative of redemption, forgiveness, and the transformative potential of faith. A profound yearning stirred within him, a longing for something he had never known. The pastor's sermon enveloped him, and the burden of his recent transgression weighed heavily on his soul. In the midst of the rain and the preacher's words, he felt convicted, compelled to seek change and absolution. In that poignant moment, drenched by the relentless rain and cleansed by newfound conviction, he made a life-altering choice. With tears in his eyes and a heart heavy with remorse, he entered the church. There, he confessed his sins, surrendered his life back to the Lord and embraced the opportunity to be born again, a symbol of hope amidst the darkness of his past actions. God had forgiven Daniel, but that doesn't clear him from future consequences. The unholy Trinity's sinister plot had served as a catalyst for Richard's downfall and ensnared Daniel in a moment of darkness. And as the rain washed away the stains of guilt, the possibility of transformation and forgiveness shone through, offering hope amidst the darkness that had enveloped their lives. God's love can transform a sinner, even a killer, into his redeemed child bound in the grace of Jesus.